Okay, so we just finished the side quests with the Jarl's kids. So now I think we'll get on with the, um... Actual main quest you're working on. Meet Yennefer at the site of the Magic Cataclysm. Okay. Excuse me, Saris. You slow-ass bitch. It is indeed a, a rather long game. Where are we headed? It's quite far away, it is. Wait, is our red fuck is it? Dang. Very far away. Um, let's go here. And ride my roach. Sometimes I just like to watch roach on the mini-map on the top right. Wait, where the fuck are you at? This dude is taking the longest route possible to get to me. I think he's stuck. What are you doing, buddy? Wild horses. Bandit camp. That's it, Roach. Sorry. I must. So what did I do? I was gonna get like a. I was gonna get a cutscene. I'm like, all I did was just kill some bandits, man. Oh, there's fishermen. Well, I guess because the bandits are dead, the fishermen can re inhabit their camp, I suppose. Horse. That's exactly what I figured was gonna happen. <laughs> Fine, be like that. I've been enjoying this game a lot. It's been a lot of fun. No, no, left. Yo, what the fuck is that thing? <laughs> Fucking huge! Here we are. Eyes. I'm gonna need you to speak in English. Are you saying the game volume is too loud or too quiet?
Excellent. Hey, Thank you. Much better. Damn sword away. I see a lot of red dots. I'm intrigued. Just a bunch of drowners. World gameplay when I did play some Pal World when it first came out. I remember the farmers played it together a little bit. It's a fun game. Is it uh, still too loud, by the way? Is it alright? My god. Okay, you know, I don't know if I want to fuck with you guys. Show me what you got. You guys are kind of annoying to fight, especially when there's four of you at once. I'm gonna fuck off. No. Ain't no fucking way, dude. Now they're hitting me from range? That's just insane. Could you come closer, Roach? Christ. Trying to get me killed out here. Let me in on this conversation. The other side of the island. Good. May all Skellige know, Jennifer of Vengerberg is a common thief. Control yourself, Druid. I haven't stolen anything. I've merely borrowed something and fully intend to return it. Ha! The generosity. Just one small problem. Once used, the mask is rendered completely worthless. Not to mention the risk you'll bury us alive, and all the Isles with us! Barry, what are you talking about? She's not told you? Might have expected as much. The myth is that Orboros created the mask when the envious seas swallowed his beloved. Unable to bear the prospect that he would never again see his betrothed, Orboros made the mask which would allow him to peer into the past. He knew, however, that he could only use it once. So he waited. Waited until his longing grew so strong that it became unbearable. When the sea learnt of the mask, 
that was quick to respond. It made known its threat that whosoever used the mask would bring the sea's wrath down on them. For in vengeance, the sea would rise and flood all the lands and drown the living. Well, that sounds bad. So, no one's ever used the mask? No, but... So you don't actually know if it works, how it works? Of course I do. The myths tell me. Right. You believe the myths? Only ignorant fools belittle their significance. Besides, it's not the myths that are on trial here. It's the thief. Theft or no theft, Krach gave us free reign. First off, this might indeed be his isle. But we, the druids, watch that no alien magic takes hold here. Secondly, after the cataclysm occurred, Krach turned to us for help and trusted this site to our care. Third! Oh. What? What was that? No. Jennifer's used the mask. Uh, that's hilarious. She literally just said, well, anyway. That's actually hilarious. Eh, what's he gonna do? Oh. Jennifer. Great. Man, I hate you. that unicorns huh? damn it yen i saw the foglets i meant how'd they get here the power of the mask summoned them ermion says the mask might cause a natural disaster fortunate he's here then he can jump right in try to tame it <laughs> realize he won't let this pass oh i'll survive somehow what now the mask reveals the past, but only in certain places. Places where past events left a strong magical imprint. Take it. Want me to wear it? Yes. I'll cast a spell that will let me see through your eyes. <laughs> okay. Well, let's go. This way. Already found the first spot. You have a new quest item. This mask does seem to be this is the spot. like a bad Find idea. Any instructions? And don't stray far. Telepathy is limited in range. What's that? A portal? Two people emerged from it. The woman was Siri. How can you know? The way she moved, like a witcher. Seems they went that way. Come, let's find the next spot. Um, yep, it sure should, Poppy. Well, ready? Use the mask. Watch out! Hmm. What was that? Hmm. A magic explosion of some sort. 
so powerful that even the Echo was dangerous. I wager it destroyed the forest. But Ciri and her companion weren't harmed. I saw them escape. Let's see where to. Place is creepy. I don't like it. Nor do I. Anyone here when this happened had a slim chance of surviving. I know what you're thinking, I but don't worry. Ciri can take care of herself. Siri. See that? Might have wounded her. She escaped through another portal. Know where it led? How the hell would she know? Magic residue trail leads to. Oh, magic Valid. residue. Right? Any chance you can figure out where Siri's companion fled to? His portal's gotta be nearby. I'll try to find it. Come. I'm gonna come. One repelled the other with powerful magic, then fled through a portal. A mage? Most likely. It's Ciri's companion and the one who wounded her. How do you know? I don't. Making an educated guess. They both appeared in the previous visions. Ciri's got a powerful ally. The mage who was with Ciri fled too. Nowhere? Can you tell me where the this mage fled to? to as well, but the target coordinates That's of right. differ from those of Ceres. The explosion must have disrupted his teleportation. Hmm. Ran into Kira Metz in Velen. Coincidence, maybe, but she claimed a mage came to her looking for Ciri. Be surprised if it wasn't the same one. Whoever he is, he grows more interesting by the minute. Maybe something left of the one who got Carrots, hit by the no spell. Carrots, no swiping. <laughs> it's clearing up. Ermion must be getting a handle on the weather. Which means he'll be free to attack us again. Are you pleased with yourselves? Look at what you've brought down on us. Mm. We'll see what Krach has to say about this. Relax. Storm's died down. You've clearly got things under control. For now. But who knows what will be a week or two on. Stop panicking! Here's your mask. It is worthless. It's an unwieldy ashtray at best. I hope you've learned something useful at least. Very. I'm talking to Geralt. You! Mm. You I'll deal with later. So? We think a powerful curse was cast here. Mm. Plausible. Considering what happened to the wood, do you know upon whom? Not yet, but we know Ciri was here. She stepped out of a portal. A mage was with her. Someone chased them. They fought. Ciri was wounded, but managed to escape. Where to? Velen, probably. The mage opened a portal for her, then he fought her attacker. Yes? Is that it? Got a feeling we've found something interesting. Just need to examine one more thing flying in that direction. Something's pinned under that tree. Can you... I can. Ain't that a person from the fucking, uh... A wild hunt or something? I think it's gonna be a 10 out of 10. Armor's clean. No blood, no sword nicks. Ciri's friend that armor. Have, what do you call it? Vaporized him. Exquisite. The armor. All the workmanship's unfamiliar. Can't even tell where it's from. Probably because it belonged to a rider of the wild huh. hunt. What? So it's true? The wild hunt? I feared as much. First here, then on Hindersfjall. What did they want? They're looking for Siri. But why? 
Elder blood flows in Ciri's veins. Tis true, she can trace her lineage clear back to Lara Duran, which is why the women in her family have always had extraordinary abilities. But could that truly be so important? Ciri's exceptional. She travels between places here and other worlds. Space is an obstacle for her. Huh? Which is why the Wild Hunt wants to capture her. Speaking of the hunt, mentioned it appeared on Hindrisfjall. Well, it happened at least a fortnight after the cataclysm. We love Fortnite, we love Fortnite. The raids raided Lofoten at dusk in a blizzard. Itself a strange occurrence for that time of year. The islanders said the wraiths. They barged into their huts, killed anyone who resisted, then galloped inland, laughing fiendishly. Anyone survive? A dozen or so women and an old man. Next stop, Hindersfjall. I'll meet you on the beach near Lofoten. Wait, can't we go together? Right now? But you detest being teleported. Don't exactly like potions either, but I drink them when I have to. <laughs> you also drink them when there's no need at all. Uh. Very well. Let's go. Stay close to me. Good luck to you. Inform me once you've learned anything new. Quite a few years since I was last on the Spear. But if I remember correctly, Lockton should be this way. Level 20. Yippee! Raised huts and fresh graves. This must be it. Gathering of some kind. We've come at a bad time. There's no good time to talk about the wild hunt. We've made it to Lofoten. Mithril sword time. Yay. Alright, what the hell am I leveling up? Um, didn't get a new slot. Maybe won't for a while. <laughs> I guess I could finish leveling these up. Fire stream is pretty dope, to be honest. I don't really use the active shield. Frankly, I wouldn't hate taking that off. It could come in handy in a pinch, but... Eh, fuck it. I'm gonna buy the heavy attack one, I think. Crushing blows. I can see the appeal of active shield, it's just... I don't know. I don't ever find myself actually using it. I gotta piss one second. I fucking hate Gwent. What if Craven told the truth? Oh! Oh! 
son of Eric, perished in glory. Yeah. Ritual of some kind. We'll have to wait. We'll do no such thing. Wow. Dear sisters, pardon the interruption, but we've an important matter to discuss. Can you not see we're commemorating the dead? So. And we're looking for someone who's still alive. Please, this is urgent. <sighs> then speak. It's kind of rude, Yen. They say the Wild Hunt destroyed this village. That is true, though few believe us. You don't either, I'm sure. Did you see riders on skeleton horses, wearing frost-covered armor? Aye, that's how it was. They landed on our shores in a ship made of the claws of dead men, like in the ballads. Leif yelled to grab the children. Then they came, cut him across his face. He tried to whisper, only blood came out. You were to ask about someone, not prod their wounds. That's enough. What happened then? Yen, leave her alone. You don't understand. If we can learn where... I understand, and I'm still asking you to stop. You're right. Get to the point. No. No. We're looking for a young woman, name of Siri. Ashen hair, green eyes. I'm sorry. She is not here. Unless she lies in a grave. That is, I do not recall one by that name. But I've buried so many, I may have forgotten. This, this Siri. Has she a scar here on her cheek? Yes. Yes, what happened to her? I don't know. Saw her but for a moment, right before... Before it all, she was in the stables with Craven. A thousand curses upon him. Remember anything else? Anything at all? Only that she seemed tired. Very tired. And and her hair was wet. Great. So oh. we know she bathed. A fish finer that goes in your I'm boat. I'm sorry, Scar My apologies. Craven. Craven could have told you more. This Craven you mentioned, does he have a name? He did. Wait, Craven isn't his name? Until the elders struck him from the saga of ancestors. It's as if he has ceased to exist. The lore forbids anyone from touching him, speaking to him, even uttering his name. Oh. What did he do to deserve that? He fled from the wild hunt. He alone. We need to talk to him, even if it's not in keeping with your customs. You've come too late. He went to the garden to fight Morkvag. Morkvarg. What's that? Who, you mean? The vilest man ever to inhabit Skelliger. Nothing was ever sacred to him. I have he met Johnny. Clan's Johnny's a homie. Took gold from Nilfgaard. Killed children. Pregnant women. Mm -hmm. Know the type. They said he feared only one thing. The wrath of the gods. Morkvarg sought to prove how wrong they were. So he sailed to Hindusfjall to ransack the goddess's garden. This was over a decade ago. Archpriestess Ulva stood in his way. He thrust a blade between her ribs and cast her down in the mud. As her lifeblood left her, she cursed him. And Morkvarg transformed into a beast. Curse? A monster? You've got some work to do. I'll say. I can get rid of Morkvarg. Don't know what he's turned into, but a silver sword should do the trick. It's not that simple. There have been those who have bested Morkvarg, yet he always returns. So, it's a complex curse, meaning I need more information. I understand, but I've told you all I know. Speak with Toradar's son, Einar. He was in the garden when Morkvarg and his men attacked. He saw what happened. Of all the pilgrims there at the time, he alone escaped with his life. He settled in Larvik. You'll find him there at the landing, provided he's not out to sea when you arrive. Where is this holy garden? Not far from here. North. We cultivated healing herbs there once. And now? Now we walk only as far as the tree the goddess planted. 
We place our offerings and make our pleas before it. Those who venture below remain in the garden forever. Mm. A coward who willingly seeks battle? Am I the only one who sees the contradiction? That's why he did it. Craven knew he would prove the elders wrong only if he killed Morkvarg. And thus regain his honor and his name. Trial by ordeal. Very Skelligan. I do not mock your lores. Please also respect ours. Touche. Thanks for your help. I understand you intend to enter the garden. I dislike it when foreigners enter the sacred grounds. But so be it. Custom demands pilgrims make an offering of their own blood before the tree. Craven surely did so. Unless he lacked not only courage, but respect for Freya as well. You need Freya. to worry about us. Geralt and I always give the gods the respect they are due. Hmm. This trail might have gone cold. Even if Craven's dead, we'll manage. How exactly? You'll see when the time comes. You could stand to be nicer sometimes. Hey, Geralt, come back. Nope. One sec. Geralt, come back. Ma'am, don't you understand I have looting to do? Upgrading armor. Uh oh. Hey, we got some upgraded trousers. They even give me increased vitality. Wow. Double click on an upgrade. What in the fuck are you referring to? I don't know what blood is waffling on about. I'm probably just blind, but... These pants make me healthier. Sorry. I suppose. Anyways. But then I wouldn't be the woman you fell in love with, would I? Touche. Oh, God. I don't know. A lot, Jake. <laughs> A lot. My, my. That must be more. A bite. Just one morsel. One piece. A crumb. Food. Food. No. Shite. Probably not, not that Not big. again. Not again. He doesn't seem happy to see us. Wait till he gets a closer look at me. So, where shall we start? Let's go to that tree the sisters mentioned. Plan to bleed yourself for the goddess? Not necessarily, but Craven did. We just might pick up his scent. Craven was here. Look, the impression. Kneeled down on one knee and cut himself to make the offering. Bloodstains. See them? N no. <laughs> I may be inhumanly beautiful, but I don't have wow. superhuman senses. But I do. Which is why you should stay up here. Aaron. No offense, but in that undergrowth and mud, you'd be like a... Ball and chain. 
Plan to say it gentler, but yeah, that's basically what I had in mind. Fine. We'll do as you say. If the need arises, I can cast spells from up here. Thought you might object. Me? Please. I can be extraordinarily conciliatory. Yen, look me in the eye. What are you plotting? Many things. How to seize the Temerian crown, how to sell Kaer Morin out from under you. Go already! <laughs> blood, flowing profusely, trails clear, should lead me to him. Light prince, Craven trod carefully. been here a while. What? I can't hear you. If you want to chat, come closer. Her senses are really dull. You asked me a question, why? Monster tracks. Running. Chasing something. Looks like Morkvark got bored of sneaking around and attacked. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Craven's Wolf. Blood. I'm sure in another, another life you would have been a very good boy. Craven was in blood, started running. Craven's blood. Craven's blood. <laughs> okay. Every time, bro. Door won't budge. Craven must have blocked it, or it's just locked. Gotta go round. Time for Mr. Mammal to get lost like he always does. doesn't give up easily. These prints should lead me to Craven. Or his body. I'm going this way. Pray tell, why is there a broken rake in a sack? Yeah, I think so. Should be good to... We should be good to partake. Where the fuck am I going? Your boy is lost. He's lost, he's lost, he's lost.
Man, what the fuck? Maybe we just go around this way. Probably. Another corpse. No bite marks here either. Lots of prints, old and new. His lair must be nearby. Can't cross that. Gotta go down, provided I can open the sluice. Mechanism looks pretty standard. One lever to choose the sluice gate, the other to work it. I do. That is that is cursed, Tony. Absolutely cursed. Starting to envy you. Wish to hear a story. If I have to, I'm all ears. Warriors came. They knew they could not kill me. So they laid a trap. Chained me down. Lock me in here. Know what I did? I bit my leg off to free myself. Every bite uh, brought pain uh, and howling. I vomited blood. Mm -hmm. Biting off your own limbs hurts. Uh, Who would have thunk? You don't understand. This was more. Uh, my mouth burned uh, like swallowing fire. As if all inside me was torn, felt I would die, but I I did it, and then I shredded them. Dashed them to bits, uh, made tiny crumbs uh, uh, of those plowing heroes. Uh. Your story have a point. We're just doing some chest pounding. <sighs> the moral is. <sighs> You cannot kill me. Uh, cannot stop me. I'll not be bound. I'll break any fetters. Uh, the curse. Uh, 
Return it. Free me, or uh, I'll return uh, to get you uh, again! Uh! It's the curse. Uh, makes me bite, uh, scratch, mangle, uh, till I drop. Uh, uh, the moral of the story is to prime something, Mr. Mayor. Before the blood's gone from me, and, and I return. Listen uh, uh, carefully. Uh, undo, undo the curse. Uh, free me. Uh, finally, I will, I will reward you. Looking for a man named Craven. Apparently came here to kill you. Seems <laughs> it didn't work out. <laughs> Those who come <coughs> rarely introduce themselves. <coughs> what did he look like? Not a uh, no idea. Then I cannot help you. Uh, I've shredded uh, uh, many. Uh, uh. So, no joy in being a werewolf? Me. It's the worst. Not the garden to which I'm bound, even. But the hunger. Anything I devour turns to ash. Ash I cannot eat. I cannot drink, yet I bloody live and roam and prowl. The hunger is terrible, ah, terrible. I bite my own flesh, but the smallest morsel burns in my throat. Throat like boiling tar. Everlasting hunger, classic as curses go, goes to explain why all those corpses went untouched. Help, or I'll re return to shred you, rip your limb from limb. You won't. <laughs> See what I can do. See and do, or I shall return. <laughs> See if we can do this the easy way. Morkvarg, of my own free will, I offer you this fare. Now dig in. Won't turn to ash. Won't know until you try. Come on, a spoonful for daddy. <laughs> Fuck! This shite again! Farewell. See you soon. All right, now I'm still looking for this geezer. lead to the well. Guess Craven didn't want to be eaten, preferred to drown. 
roots. Hey, can you hear me? Geralt, you scared me. Sorry, didn't mean to. I hope not. Let me know once you find Craven. Damn. Dead. Has been for a while. Yen, found him. And? And I've seen rot fiends in better condition than this. Shit. Fine, scrape together what you can and haul the bits up here. Take it you've got a plan? No, I just like to stare at rotting flesh. We'll talk when you get here, all right? That's Yen, charming as ever. Come on, someone wants to meet you. Putrefaction set in, but the vocal cords are intact. We might still get something out of him. Doesn't look like the talkative type. Anyone can be made to talk, even a corpse. One must simply know how. Thought necromancy was strictly forbidden. So is premarital sex. But I'm not about to be bothered by such foolishness. <laughs> Black magic's no joke. Casting those spells never ends well. Never. I don't like it any more than you do, believe me. But the thought that Ciri is in danger? I like that even less. I understand. Still doesn't give us the right to- Geralt, please. This is not the time to debate ethics. Need any ingredients for the spell? Hmm. The blood of a newborn, a virgin's tongue, and the eye of a newt. Mind trying again without the sarcasm? I can get you tens of thousands of eyes I'm of newt. I'm a sorceress, not a village herbalist. All I need is energy. A great deal of energy. We're very lucky this place is saturated with magic. It's also considered sacred. Priestesses will be furious if you use the garden's power to revive a corpse. Geralt, you're getting on my nerves. I offer you solutions, you try to poke holes in them. I'm not poking holes. Just thinking about the consequences. How about you? Giving them any thought? No. Geralt, I'll say it again. We're short on time. Siri is short on time. Hmm. Fine. You busy yourself pouting. I'll handle the rest. Selene, Selene, Dufrain. Selene, Selene, Davidar. No, I have a I am You died in battle. You've recovered. Geralt, this is not the time to cheer up a corpse. A young woman, ashen hair, green eyes. What happened to her? She's wise! They cursed me! I don't care about that. What happened to her? What was she doing here? Speak! No! Speak! No. Speak! She fell! No, Angie. Oh no, it's a mud crab.
Siri. Zirel. Can you hear me? I can. I must leave you now. We will meet beneath drowned dead rock. Can you remember? Mm -hmm. Repeat it. Drowned dead rock. You're awake. And I thought you'd... Where, where am I? And who are you? It's all right. You're on Hindersfjall, village of Lofoten. They call me Skjall. Skjall. But how'd I... What? We fished you out of the sea. Me and that friend of yours. How long did I lie there? All day, near about. It was morn when we brought you in. Night's near come now. Damn. Too long. You needed the rest. Desperately. Been through a lot, eh? Got some nasty, fresh-looking scars. Yes. I've been through a lot. I never thought women on the continent did any fighting. Sometimes they have no choice. Mm. And where is he? My friend. Stepped out a while ago. Said he needed to find a boat. Why does he wear that mask? Something not right with his mug? No. He simply doesn't like others to see it. Help. Help me stand. I, I don't... I don't think you should... Less talk, more giving me a hand. Ah, that's me brother for you. Out of sight for a second, and he's already put his paws on a girl. Mm, Astrid, you're as dim as dishwater. You know perfectly well I'm helping her up. It's a shame, I know, but I've got to interrupt your courtship. Come, we're off to the sauna. Where? Why is your mouth agape like you're noodling for an eel? The <laughs> sauna. Wait, what? Girl, you was wait, blue wait, wait. as a whale when we brought you in here. Your blood needs thawing. Really, there's no need. I feel fine now. Hey! Fine? You can't stand on your own two feet. And it's no surprise with your muscles frozen stiff. But don't you worry. Mom and I will take care of you. I'm sorry. But I must get to Drown Dead Rock. As fast as possible. I shan't force you to stay. But the rocks are ways off and you can barely walk. You best take a horse. True. Skjall can prepare a horse for you. You'll have to wait a spell, but even so, you'll get there faster than on foot. Fine, that'll do. Thank you both very much. Pish posh, there's no need. Now come, we gotta sweat the sick out of you. Where are my clothes? I've taken them already. Come on. I hate saunas. Really do. That man in the mask, he's from afar, isn't he? Oh, yes. From very far away. Where exactly? Aren't you nosy? Surprised? I've been sitting in this fish puddle my whole life. I'd love to travel like you. Like me? No, you wouldn't like that. Trust me. All right. In you go and get out of those rags. All of them. I should think so. <laughs> this is for Jared. This is for my friend Jared. He needs this. Okay. Wait. Oh, all right. <laughs> Let's go. I'm getting goose pimples. Finally. I was so worried, you know. Ah, Mom, you always worry. Everything's fine, ain't it? I didn't die. Mm. 
Yes, it's fine. Good. That's good. What's on your thigh, child? That a bruise? This? No. It's a tattoo. So it is. A red rose. It mean anything? It's a souvenir. Of I love special. this stream. He's dead now. I pictured it already. You were promised to a handsome lad. You better keep you the same energy when Rose it's just a bald guy playing RuneScape. Sea swallowed him. <laughs> Close. Eh, hey, child. Those bards have stuffed your head with their foolish romances. I will not. <laughs> Here we are, gabbing away. Steam's gone. Got to douse the coals. About to get hot as shit in here. Say, back home, have you got saunas too? You know, I don't really have a home. I'm a traveler. Ah, oh, that's right. Where was your ship headed? Ship? We fished you out of the sea. We thought you were in a shipwreck. Yeah, that'll happen, Rip Vortex. No, that's not right. I wasn't in a shipwreck. Hmm. So, what brings you to our shores? I'm here looking for someone. Not your betrothed, I hope. Why? It'd break Skjall's heart. He's head over heels for you, girl. Sat at your bedside all the day, staring like you was painted by a master. Astrid, I asked you not to tell her. Oops. Well, now the milk's spilt. Do you fancy Skull? What? Well, he seems nice. Oh, oh my. He's that bad? Leave it, Astrid. Who she likes is her affair, and it's not to you. Listen, it's lovely sitting here with you, but I really must go now. I understand. Who'd want to stay in this hole? We're all related three times over, and the air stinks of fish. Uh. I can't see how you're related to anyone here. No one in Lofoten groans and bitches quite like you do. Sit down and be quiet. Child, Sjald's certain to have readied the horses by now. But before you go, you ought to take a quick jump in the water. It'll do you good. Oh. That makes me I cold suppose. just thinking about it. Why not? Head through the door and you'll see the pier. Be careful, it's slippery. Thank you, once more. And once more, there's no need. Gods bless your journey. Probably just whiskey or something. Where, where am I going? Hey, thank you, Ollie Bobus. Glad to hear you're enjoying it. What, your hands? I mean... My logic is... My hands touch everything. My penis touches nothing. My hands have to be far dirtier than my... You know what I mean? Like it... Oh, you're here. The horses are ready. As am I. Shall we ride? Listen, I... I hope... My sister, she didn't talk any nonsense to you, did she? No. 
Uh, except to mention that you fancy me. Wh what But I asked her... Besides, it's not... Of course, you are very... But... No. You know what? Let's ride. You're in a hurry and it'll be dark soon. I'm not in that much of a hurry. <clears throat> what? Huh? <laughs> Your first kiss, wasn't it? Of course it weren't. Uh, hi. Oh. Me first. We don't have much time, but it's enough for you to learn a few things. Cute. Run for your lives! You stay here! I'll go and- I can look after myself. Was that the wild hunt? Right, the rob. The world's end. No, not yet. But I must go. They're here for me. Get on the horse. I'll show you the way to the rock. You should stay. See to Astrid, your mum. Afterwards. Once I'm sure you'll make it. Let's go. Oh, see. So they assumed that he ran away from them, but in reality, he was just helping her. Watch out! Ride, silly! Don't look back! That's unfortunate. Faster! Faster! They're catching up!
Okay. What became of that creature? Where is he? Stop! <laughs> what? I saw him. And... That was kind of fucked up. Yen, are you all right? I'm fine now. Spell. Imagine putting wriggling cockroaches in your mouth, or swimming in manure. That's more or less how it felt. What? What happened to the garden? It died. Like I said, the spell, it requires a great deal of energy. You knew it would end like this, didn't you? Didn't consider it worth mentioning? No. I knew you'd protest. Your sense of decency is charming, but it does get in the way sometimes. <laughs> Yen, let's get out of here. Now. You needn't ask me twice. The garden! Our garden! Oh no. Why could you? We helped! And you! Unconceivable! Now, now. Don't you dare try to calm me! We'd every right to be furious! Furious! And you! You will pay for this. We had no choice. We'd never have learned what happened to her. Do you really think you're justified? That your hunt for a foreign woman gives you the right to destroy our garden? No. I'm sure it doesn't in your eyes. I shall make sure all Skellige hears what you did here. Wait. I did this. I alone. Geralt tried to stop me. I refused to listen. I might have known. They warned me about you. Sorceresses. None shall open their door to you. None shall feed your hunger. And none shall tend to your wounds. She turned me into a newt. Yen, you didn't have to do that. But I wanted to. I'd rather not talk about it. We must focus on what Skell told us. Key to finding Ciri is that ugly thing Skell saw on the beach. That's what I think. You know, I saw something or someone who looked just like. Oh, that. I did. Where? It was uh. In Velen, yeah. the castle until recently ruled the by the self-proclaimed fucking... Baron, now controlled by his right-hand man, Sergeant Ardle. You must go and get the creature. I don't know. Buy him, kidnap him. The thing's clearly cursed. Its mind is a jumble. Can't have anything resembling a normal conversation with it. Grumbling won't get us anywhere. All would be well. A curse, please. Nothing a sorceress and a witcher couldn't handle. Now, tell me. Do you. No, never mind. You were gonna ask me something. What was it? Tell me, do you think, is there a chance that thing might be Siri? That, well, she's been transformed by some curse? Don't even want to think about it. 
Geralt. We must. Might be. From what I know, she was looking to cure a powerful curse while in Novigrad. But I'll lose it if I try to deal with that possibility now. We have to do what we can, see what happens. Didn't learn much, though... Though we can be sure Ciri's not in Skellige anymore. Not in Velen or Novigrad either. She's disappeared. Again. Perhaps we should re-examine what we've learned. We might have missed a clue that would push us forward. Certainly hope that's the case. Uh, makes me wonder what she's gotten herself into. Can't even begin to imagine. But we will pull her out of it. Safe and sound. That I promise you. Ciri's trail in Skellige. We followed it, exhausted the possibilities. Might be time to go back to the continent. Before you do, there's one thing. It's important. What's that? Let's meet in Larvik, at the Warrior's Hall. We'll speak there. Fine. Larvik. See you there soon. Thank you. For that, and for your help in the garden. I'd not have managed without you. It was nothing. Geralt, you know me. I'm rare to praise, but when I do, it is sincere. I would like to um, finish helping this werewolf first, so I think we'll do that next. We'll, uh... Yeah, we'll try. We'll try to help the. Wait, rec recommend or suggest? Oh, why does it say fifteen right there? Oh, I had the wrong quest selected. Never mind. So I'm pretty over leveled for at least this right now. Yeah, the main quest is level 19. So never mind. We're alright. Okay, well, we'll help the werewolf and then we can do the whatever Yennefer needs in Lorvik. But there we shall call it for tonight.